Hey guys, Nico here from Black Rose Duelist. And I know I haven't made a video in a while, but it looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! is finally getting interesting again, but not for the actual game, but because of the people playing it. And we have a huge kind of civil war in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Uh, some of the fan base thinking that the game is dead, and the majority of the fan base thinking the game is still alive. And um, obviously, if you've been paying attention, uh, Asian Eyes, Slaydra, whatever he calls him now, the Overwatch player. Um, let's be real here. He hasn't actually, like, really done anything in Yu-Gi-Oh! in a few years. So, um, he really isn't into the game. So, no offense to him and his subscribers, but where, if you're not playing the game, what makes you think you are an expert on if the game is alive or dead? Like, obviously, if you're not an insider anymore, if you're not one of those people actively playing the game, going to events... What makes you think that you know if the game is dead, alive, dying, prospering? No offense. So, I, I'm i kind of on the same boat in a way. Um, I, I'm i more active in the game than he is because he is um, he rarely does any Yu-Gi-Oh videos unless it is that uh, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is dead or he wants to like fear monger his subscribers into thinking that uh, the game is dead and no one is playing it anymore. Um, my view, I, I I play the game at least. I play at least like 10 matches uh, every week online. Even though the online is dead, I you can still go on Dev Pro and duel and at least duel with the computers. I think it's still nice to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, to kind of refresh your mind if you're not actively going to events. Uh, to keep like actively playing in your head and keep practicing. Um, I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! It's one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time. I just find it kind of boring right now, but that doesn't mean I think it's dead. And if you look at the numbers, he, is, he wants to look at the numbers, but the Nationals he just had was huge. One of our biggest Nationals ever. Um, so, really, is it dying if we're still having huge events? When I think of dying, I think just 100, 200 people are going, which is still not dead. That's still, I mean, 100, 200 people going to events, still, it's still an event. It's just, if we're having the biggest events ever, why are we saying it's dead when it obviously isn't? I mean, yes, online Yu-Gi-Oh! may be dead, but Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't an online game. I'm sorry, it's a card game, not an online game. It's not, it's not Overwatch, it's not, um, uh, it's not Minecraft, it's not... League of Legends. It's a card game. I'm sorry, you don't play card games online unless it's like Hearthstone. Yes, you can practice Yu-Gi-Oh! online, and a lot of people did that. But that isn't the game. That's practice. That's not the real thing. So when you go out and say the game is dead, it's not dead. Just the way you play it, because you don't go out and play events, is dead. Does that make sense? So if you're an exclusively online player, you're going to have to go out and actually play the game, not just practice online. Uh, I know that sounds kind of harsh, but I talked about this a month ago and a lot of you got angry at me. And now I think a lot of you are on the same side of me in the way that, yes, it's bad that um, the game got taken down online. You can't play the game online anymore. But in actuality, now it's forcing more people to go out and play the game. Um, you're actually going to see more people at events. You're going to have more people, your friends who like the game, if you have any friends that like the game, who want to go out and play the game now that they can't practice at home. You're going to have more real-life connections. And I find playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life way more fun than playing it online. Going out and actually playing the game, feeling the cards in your hand, uh, actually thinking out a lot more things, not having a simulator do the thinking for you. Um, meeting people is always cool, too. Um, it's just way different than doing an online simulator online. And the negative of it is also that you, uh, Jeff Jones said this and I agree with it a lot, I said it last time too, um, you, the formats get so boring so quick because everyone has access to every single deck possible. So the, the format, he said it in a good way, like the format gets resolved um, quick because of online Yu-Gi-Oh! People find out what the best deck is almost in a one, two days because 
everyone can play the deck at once. Thousands of people online can play the same deck at once and figure out what the best deck is. Not that it's a bad, horrible thing, but it's not a like, fun thing because the boring formats start very soon because everyone's playing the same deck. They know what's good real quick. Uh, while you have to actually wait for events, see what works at actual events, not see what works online when the uh, online is down. So that's the only thing you definitely see uh, more. I would say, I don't know how to put this in, that, in good words because that's not right. I was going to say you see more less skilled players do good. I don't know if that's necessarily the truth. I'm trying to get to something similar to that. More like, I don't know, more inexperienced players do better because uh, they can play with any deck they want. Um, so someone who's not really into the game can play a $1,000 deck that wouldn't actually play the deck. And you kind of get to know every single deck without playing it, which is a good and bad thing because do you really deserve that knowledge in a way? Like, you didn't buy the cards. You know what? You know what? Do you kind of know what I mean by that? Like, you didn't... You're not physically playing with the cards. You don't have the deck. But you know that deck inside out. So it's kind of like an unfair advantage for the people who've actually tested and bought the deck. That the opponent already knows how to play the deck inside out. Because they played it online. Um, but yeah, I definitely... I see the negatives. Yes, you can't test online anymore. But I think the positives... I mean, the game is definitely... That, that negative is definitely not negative enough to bring down this game. This game was good before online Yu-Gi-Oh! And he he even mentioned Google Trends uh, that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! was most popular during like the Go Control formats in like 2005. They didn't really have Dueling Network or Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro or any of that during that time. And if you're saying those were the most like, alive years based on Google Trends, then why are you mentioning it? Because that's without online Yu-Gi-Oh. And even if you do want to bring up Google Trends, if anyone says use Google Trends, it's a good tool, but it doesn't really give you all that information because Yu-Gi-Oh as a card game is different than Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole. Because usually when people, the average person looks up Yu-Gi-Oh, it used to always be about the show, and that's why it was more popular in 2004 when you had the like the popular animes like wasn't that like the Star of GX end of the original Yu-Gi-Oh? That was a lot more popular the the anime, and because the anime is usually po more popular than the game itself, obviously the Google Trends are going to be different. So this has been an eight minute video. I just want to say that Yu-Gi-Oh is not dead. Um, don't believe Asian Eyes, Sladra, the Overwatch player. Not trying to be shady or rude, but like seriously, if you aren't like a huge player of the game anymore, if you're not a fan of the game, if you're not playing the game, then really why are you talking? Because then you don't really know what's really going on. If you're just sitting behind the computer screen, playing the game on the computer once every month, that's not the same as actually going to events and actively playing the game. Uh, also, the fact that um, you're kind of fear-mongering like Donald Trump in a way. I don't want to compare you to Donald Trump, but he kind of does the same things of where you're going to fear your subscribers into thinking you're right, and that's not really right. The game is not over. If you keep saying it's over, it's not going to make it over. Um, I wanted to compare it to Pokemon um, in the way that everyone thought it was over during uh black and white because things like Google Trends and things like the anime isn't big anymore. The game is not going to be good anymore. Well, look what happened now. Pokemon Go happened. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is not over. If something like Pokemon that's been out forever, people think because Yu-Gi-Oh! is out relatively the same time that Pokemon's been out. Just because it's been out for so long doesn't mean it's going to be dead now. It doesn't have a date that it's going to be dead. It can last a long time. It's just people can't be negative like this and say it's dead anytime something bad happens. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, comment down below. Even if you disagree, I want to hear your opinions. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.